The House of Representatives has thrown out a bill seeking to regulate studies for wards and children of Nigerian public office holders. Sponsor of the bill, Sergio Sogun, said the bill, if passed into law, would strengthen the indigenous institutions, private efficient service, provide efficient service for national development, amongst other things. The report. The current state of education in Nigeria has remained a matter of concern as it has consistently ranked low in world rankings. Major among many issues is the incessant strikes by university lecturers, which have been one of the reasons for the mass exodus of Nigerians overseas for studies. When this happens, words and children of the elites usually take the lead, while children of ordinary Nigerians wait for the strikes to be over, no matter how long it takes. Most of these Foreign students are children, world of public servants and political office holders who ostensibly cut away public funds to a private use for, a, for private use. It is against this background that this bill is proposed to regulate this trend and position our educational system for global competitiveness. The bill meets with stiff resistance, starting from the deputy minority leader. Toby Okechuku, who says there is no proof that regulating international studies will improve standard of education in Nigeria. Is it likely that children schooling overseas is the reason why um, our educational institutions are not working effectively? We must make a distinction between hiring competent people who should man offices who should be responsible, who are acting based on knowledge, as against legislating for things that may not, in a real sense, cure the problem. Is that maybe because we are public officers, you don't see us children schooling abroad? Some have the means, apart from being in common. So if you say, because I'm now a member of House of Rep, I should go and withdraw my children from where they are schooling and our institution here as he has said is not in order i can't be discriminated because or my children be discriminated because i'm in position of authority that is the issue they have a right you know to be able to be educated anywhere in the world may father this be in section 42 of the constitution of federal republic offensive very strongly except you amend this section then you can be able to say you are bringing this kind of bill to the floor of the National Assembly. In his response, the Deputy Speaker says the House cannot be blackmailed. Our language in the floor matters. And uh, we should not be blackmailed and there shouldn't be any blackmail. No, 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 no. It's the last word you use. Please, those in favor that the bill be resequent and say aye. Against say nay. The nay serve it. This is not the first time this bill has been presented during plenary, but each time it comes up, it is stopped. It is believed that investment in the education sector needs to become much more efficient, requiring government at all levels to prioritize the sector, since it is considered as key to economic prosperity. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.